Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Berserk for the Atari 2600. In the last video, we played Game 4. And now we're going to play Game 5. With a rebound evil auto and mean robots on the prowl, Game 5 is like Game 2, except a bonus life is won at 2,000 points rather than 1,000. Also during the last video, I did more diagonal shooting than I usually do, and I ended up being really good at said diagonal shooting. So as a result, I'll be doing more of it in this video. So let's set game mode to 5 and begin. And Evil Auto will be showing up soon. I better get out of the way. You're shooting a laser. I'll take advantage of the speed of said laser and destroy all of you at once. That thing hit the wall. You're going towards the wall. And I can get rid of you. Or at least I can temporarily get rid of you and get you away from me. Rather. And... Definitely getting used to not running into things that I shouldn't. And... Evil Auto spawned right on top of me. I should have known better. And you know what? I think it's better if I took care of that last robot diagonally. There we go. And yeah, getting definitely getting better with the diagonal shots at this rate. Uh. And then you might as well just run into the wall. There we go. And I thought I hit him. I didn't. Then I did. And definitely getting a little better with this. A little better. And there's only so many places where that guy can go. I'm going to hit him in the head. And that should do it. And I'm about to say, can I hit you diagonally? And the answer was yes. So, more of the same. I wish I played game two this way. Would have made things a lot more interesting. And you ran into the wall and made things a little easier for myself. And thought I could get away with that. And barely avoided that laser. Okay. Let him run into the wall. And then we can continue. And I thought he wouldn't shoot at me. Shows what I know. And if Evil Auto shows up, I'll shoot at him. There we go. And he's going to shoot at me, but I can easily take care of him diagonally. Make our way to the next place to go. Evil Auto's going to show up somewhere. Ran right into the path of my laser. And spent too much time at the start there, which means I was right on the spawn point. Not a good thing, that. And 
And there we go. We can get evil out of our auto out of our way just long enough to shoot him down. And you shot your guy, which made things easier. Yeah, having to, having other robots nearby is bad for the robots. Just because they can easily just ruin their own efforts. Just by either running in... Well, I wouldn't exactly say running into their own guy. I'm pretty sure it's possible that they can run into each other and destroy each other that way. But they're definitely more likely to shoot each other. And I'm at 7,000 points already. That's something. Hey! Okay. Well, his laser had some distance, so I was able to avoid that. You're going to run into the wall. You're also going to run into the wall. And I'll just take care of Evil Auto that way. Okay. And I thought I'd get shot there, but I didn't. Moved up just enough to keep that from happening. There we go. Had to be a little patient there. And you shot your own dude! Which made all that happen in an instant. And you all ran into the wall. So I'm really lucking out on some of these boards here, if you couldn't already tell. And I thought I could get away with that. Let's get some distance between us and the laser. Let's shoot down Evil Auto. And I should have just kept going. Almost hit 10,000 points. Let's see if we can do it again. And this time, we do hit a five-digit score. All right. Got to get used to the enemies not shooting on the first screen again. Before the lasers come out all super slow and everything. There's our second screen. There's our third screen. And it won't be long before our enemies more or less decide to ruin ruin their other their own lives. I mean this guy's going to move eventually. I can probably get away with a matter of, matter of fact, I'm just gonna not rely on that anymore and just do that and you're gonna run to the wall perfect and because the other guy shot the guy closer to me couldn't do a thing there we go had to do some good diagonal shooting there And, hmm. Yeah, it's better if I did things that way. And the lasers are still going to be slow. They're still going to be a little slow. I'm going to need him. Or I could just do that. Just get him from just out of the corner. Can I hit you? Well, I can, but then the other guy, the guy I wanted to shoot, runs right into the wall. Not very bright, apparently. There we go. And you two are going to shoot each other. Or one of you's going to run into the wall. You're going to run into the wall. 
Let's go over to the left, so that way I don't have to deal with evil Anno. I can just kind of sneak out of the way there. Let the robots do their thing. And I thought I could take care of this guy diagonally, but, well, he moved towards me. Enemies are getting a little more ingenious here. And I can't believe I survived that. All right, you run into the wall. And barely got away from me, Volano, on that one. And I can't move very quickly there. Okay, you know what? That'll do it. Change of strategy, but it worked. Now you two are going to be right near the wall. And if I could actually aim, that would be great. Really? Still ran into him. And I took too long near where I spawned, which is where Evil Otto was going to spawn. And I am not having a good day now, apparently. And I ran into the wall. Used my last life to run right into the wall. Starting to look like today is not my day with game five. I'll go for one more. And I'll go ahead and just take care of everybody with a laser and do this. You're both going to run into the wall, so I'm just going to let you do it. And you are going to go over there. Which means I can hit you from right here. Okay. And he's going to run into the wall, so I'm going to let him. And he will also run into the wall. And that room more or less took care of itself. So once again, I'm doing things that I really should have been doing in game two. I feel. I feel like I've done a lot more diagonal ga aiming in game two. I'd be doing a little better on that mode. Still not a bad game, this. Definitely not a bad game. Far from a bad game, actually. It just can be a little nasty at times, especially when you're surrounded by robots and you're not exactly sure how to handle everything. And are you going to run into the wall? Yes, you will. And I might have handled things this way. Okay. Now that Evil Auto showed up, let's get some distance between each other here. Whoa! Robot in the back shot the robot in the front. That was something. And he tried a little too hard. And he ended up running into the wall while I was trying to do things. And you shot your own guy, and I couldn't get rid of the guy and take care of... Whoa! Take care of... Yeah, I think... 
Or not. I'm about to say, I think this val discretion is the better part of valor here. But, well, things proved me wrong. You're going to run in the wall, and I'm going to let you. Please shoot diagonally. There we go. And I am just going through screens like no tomorrow. And I just managed to pot shot that enemy. Okay. That one's going to run into the wall. And man, to say, can I shoot Evil Auto? If I can, I can go to the left. And I got hit right in the head. I thought I'd be able to get away with avoiding that. And you are going to go that way. And you are going to go to the other side. Well, this isn't fun. Can I? I can still do this. Okay. He ran into the wall like I wanted him to. You are going to get shot. I don't know how I managed to avoid that. And let's get away from there before Evil Auto catches up. That was not exactly the smartest idea that I've had. You're going to approach the wall. Can I hit you from here? Good, and I can also take care of Evil Auto. Excellent. Last guy ran right where I wanted to shoot, too. You're going to run into the wall. You're going to shoot your own guy. And I can take care of you diagonally and then take care of Evil Auto. Alright, now let's get out of here. Thankfully we can get rid of an Evil Auto. I managed to shoot him. And you stood where you probably shouldn't have stood. And now you're going to go that way. Wow. I shouldn't even have worried about that robot. He was going to run right into the wall. Didn't expect him to either. You're going to run into the wall, so are you. Let's get out of here. Now, can I shoot this guy? Okay, he can just run into the wall. I'm okay with that too. Nice. Also nice. And what are you doing near me? I should have taken care of the far... Gone the far side. And there's our 10,000! About time. About time. And you're just gonna stay near the wall. Really? Well, that was a huge glaring weakness of my take advantage of the one enemy laser that can be on the screen at any given time strategy. All right, get you there. Wow. I just just get, should have kept right on going. And I should have let him run right into the wall. And... You're going to do things. What if I get... No? Okay. Well, I guess that'll work. Well, time to get away from Evil Lano and go to another screen. 
Take care of you. Take care of you, you, and you. At least my ability to aim diagonally decided to work there. And I shouldn't have held the button any longer than that. Game sure showed me. And I managed to shoot him right in the head. And I have been recording for 20 minutes now, and I have already had my best try at all of this. And I just managed to shoot that guy right in the foot. I, did, I thought I would hit the wall. Thankfully, I did not. And... Evil Otto is now becoming a right pain in this particular instance. And now I'm exchanging shots and playing a game of chicken with these guys. Alright. Let's go in here. Let's... I thought, I thought Evil Otto hit me. Nope, I just ran into the wall. And you are going to go that way. And you are going to go that way. Glad to have no walls behind me in that particular instance. And everyone was lined up in that instance. Alright, let's get out of here before... There we go. I'm about to say, before Evil Otto shows up again. How am I doing? Almost 40,000. Well, I have another life, but this, this one's probably going to be my last. And it probably was my last. Yeah, it was definitely my last. Not, I'm not sure if there was much that I could have done there, but... We finally reached a five-digit score for game five. Glad I did. And it's good to know that I can still pull some stuff off in the 2,000-point variations where you need 2,000 points to get an extra life instead of 1,000. And... Believe it or not, we still have quite a few game variations left to go. We've played five of them so far, but we've got another seven that we can play. And in the next video, we are going to play game six. So join me then, why don't you? Until then, this is Prince Watercrass. Take care. Stay safe. And thanks for watching!